In this video, we see a tricky question which deal with resetting the running total when the running total becomes negative. So for that, we will be using the table sample superstore. Let me query the table and then will I then I will explain the question. So we have multiple columns in the sample superstore table. To solve the query, we will be using two columns, namely which are order date and profit. Because our question is to reset the running total when the running total profit become negative. So let us start writing query for the same. Select, we want to order date and profit from the sample superstore table. Let us run this query and select only the required columns. So we have the two required columns which are order date and profit. Also let us order the result based on order date. Then let us see the duplicate order dates and second third and fourth record we can see that all the three records are having same date but with different profit so what we have to do initially here is to we have to use the sum aggregate function on the profit column and we have to find the profit made by the company on each day for that on the same query i'm going to use the aggregate function on profit we'll rename the column as total profit also, we'll use a group by clause after the from clause. On order date. Now let us run the query. And we will get the aggregated total profit for each day. Now if you see the result, we can see that each of the rows are having unique records. That is, each of the order date are unique in the result. Now, let us find the running total of the total profit column. Let me put this inside a CTE so it will be easy for us to understand. With T1 as so the name of the first CTE is T1. Then we are going to do a running sum on the total profit column. So I'm here I am taking all the columns from the T1 CTE table. And the next step is to calculate the running sum on total profit. over so we are inside the over clause we are going to use the order date with the order by clause order underscore date in ascending order it is not necessary that we specific ascending always because by default it is ascending but to be obvious it is always good to use the proper syntax as running profit sum And this is from the table T1. And also before running the query, let us make sure that we comment out this order by clause within the CTE. Otherwise, you will get an error. I will show that. Let me run the query without removing. If I run the query, see the order by clause is invalid, invalid in the view. You will get similar error. So what we are going to do is we are going to comment out this order by order date clause inside the CTE. And we are going to copy this to the outer query. Now let us run the query and we will get a running sum based on the total profit column. Now if we see the result, we can see that, see whenever the total profit is becoming negative and it is having a very big value, our running profit sum is also becoming negative. This is not good. The question is asking us to find or reset the running total whenever the running total profit become negative. So what we are going to do here is we are going to use a case statement and going to create a flag based on which we are going to then create a partition and then create a running sum or running profit based running total of the profit column or the total profit column so we will put this query which we wrote also inside a cte so the name will be t2 as Inside the uh, second CTE also, that is T2 also, we are going to remove the order by clause. Then we are going to put a flag based on the total profit column, that is T2 star. We are selecting all the columns from the T2 table and using a case statement, case when total underscore profit is greater than 
or equal to zero then so one thing is before creating the flag there is one condition that we need to satisfy so for that only we are using this case statement so whenever the total profit column we have a negative value we will replace that total profit negative value with a zero so that is the case statement that we are going to write now that is case when total profit greater than or equal to zero then let us take the same value in the total profit column and whenever the total profit column is less than or equal to zero we are going to replace it with a zero so the condition is total profit less than zero then we are going to replace the total profit negative value with a zero then end as new profit renaming the column as new profit and this is from the table t2 and let us use an order by clause also here copying the order by clause from the previous query because the column name is same now if we run we can if we run the query we can see that all the negative values from the total profit column has been replaced by zero and all the non negative values are carried over or which are same so we will keep this query also inside a cte that is we will name it as t3 as then we will use a bracket to put the entire query inside the cte and we will comment out the order by close within the cte now we are going to create a flag based on the new profit column that is select t3 dot star then case when whenever the new profit is zero we are going to put a flag one and whenever it is uh, not zero we are going to flag it as zero so case when new underscore profit is equal to zero then one and or else zero and we are ending the case statement as and rename case state we are ending the case statement and naming it as flag so this is the flag which we are going to use as the partition close now this is from the table t3 and we will use an order by clause also here now let us run the query and see what is the result now we got a flag column which has the one which has one or zero based on the new profit column that is whenever the new profit column is having a zero value the flag is one and otherwise it is zero now we are going to use a sum on the sum aggregate function on the flag column and we are going to create a new partition column so we'll put this query inside a sub query sorry in a cte then select t4 dot star then sum of sum of flag over now we don't have to use any partition clause instead only order by clause we have to use inside the over clause so order by that is order date column we are using in ascending order and naming the column as some flag and from the ct table t4 and using an order by clause on order date now let us run the query and we can see that we got a new column which is the sum of flag from this we can see that a new partition is created whenever the new profit is becoming zero that is for new profit the sum of flag is zero and when it becomes zero or it has it has got a negative value it went back to zero and a new partition is created one 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 until again the value is becoming zero that is negative for the total profit column but 
we replaced it with a zero since I'm calling it as zero. And again, if I go down, we can see that again when the new profit column we have a zero value, the sum of flag has been resetted and we got a new partition. Now we are going to create a running total based on the sum of flag column using as a partition and in the order by clause we are going to use the order date so the latest query also will put inside a cte t 5 s then uh, commenting out this order by clause select all the columns from t 5 cte sum of that is we are going to take the sum of new profit column new underscore profit column over and the partition we are going to use here is the sum of flag partition by sum of flag order by order by is same which is order date we are going to use the order by close on the order date column in the descending order sorry not in descending order in the ascending order because it should be from small to big we are going to name the new column as reset profit and this is from t5 ct and again we are going to put an order by close now if we run the query we can see that we will get a new profit column which is reset underscore profit so whenever the total profit is becoming negative it is getting reset to zero and again calculating from the beginning that is the first value compared to total profit is 5.55 the reset profit is also 5.55 then coming down it's minus 65 the reset profit has become zero coming down it is 4 for total profit 4.8 then coming to reset profit it is 4.88 then coming down it is 1358 and if i come to the reset profit we can see that it is 1362 which is the sum of 4 plus 1358 and again if i come down we can see that similar condition is getting satisfied and it is taking the sum of total profit column excluding the negative profit values this is how we reset the profit column whenever it becomes negative thank you